Hello guys, welcome back. Another little video build order for you. Um, this build is Fast Castle build. Um, any Civ can do this build. Um, I'm going to be doing it with the Sicilians because they get no eco bonuses to help them do it faster. Um, so I'm doing it on a arena as well because that's the normal map you're going to be doing a Fast Castle build on. Um, it will work on any map with standard resources, so three or more deer, two boar, eight sheep, six grey bushes. So we start off the usual six on sheep. Then from six on sheep, um, we go to get boar. Um, this fast castle build, we click up uh, with 23 pop. Age, then make two villages in feudal and then click to castle. Um, once we've sent one to ball, we then send three to wood. So we only eat two sheep with this build and then we start eating ball. The first sheep, the second sheep should just run out as the boar is arriving. Um, we should send three to wood after the six on sheep and the one to ball. The last one to wood needs to build a house. Um, so this build will allow you to do anything you want. It can be, you can go fast castle into a castle drop immediately when you hit castle age, um, or you can go into a boom, or go into knights, or whatever you want. Um, so there's three to wood. Either the last one to wood needs to build the house, or after you then go to four with this next one, the next one has to build a house. So either that last village is towards, or after this village goes to ball, we then send six to berries. The first one has to build a house, otherwise you will get housed if that one forgets. So both our balls are in. We're now sending six to berries. We then have to push deer. Full breakdown of the build in the description as well below. I always shift click my ball villagers onto deer as well, so when they run out of ball, they will go to a deer. So that's four. We've got eating berries. Just use berry villagers to build houses as and when you need them now. That's five, so one more. So there's all six villagers to berries. We then need to send three to wood. We just use one lumber camp to build. So we send three more, taking us to a total of six on wood. So I've pushed in all the day now. So I can go off scouting. Five on wood. One more. We don't get loom with this build either. Again, being arena, you're not going to need loom until you leave your walls. So there's all six on wood. I try and keep evenly spread either side. And um, now we're going to send two to gold, and then we click up. Already put up. And now we don't do anything. We just keep these villagers under the TC, eating food. And 
Now you can begin thinking about what you want to do once you hit Castle Age at this point. You can maybe send an extra to Ward or an extra to Stone or anything you want really. There are options available. Resources, got plenty of wood in my buildings. Plus, I can build an extra mining camp on stone if I want with those resources. There we go. I'm going to do a, a castle drop build type thing with this 23 pop up. I've got this villager coming from wood because I don't need as many on wood anymore. I'll use three villagers from wood as well to build my buildings. And they'll all go to stone as well once they've built the buildings. There's my buildings. Almost got enough gold in the bank. Almost got enough food in the bank. There's eight villages under the TC. Holding about 80 food, roughly. And six under here. On, the, on berries, holding about 60 food in total. Sending all the villages that produced stone, got the gold. Just need to force drop the food. There we go, force drop the food, and we're up. So, this is a sieve with no eco bonuses at all. They get no help clicking Castle Age or going up. And we've just done 23 pop up. We haven't got any farms. Oh, Everything's going to stone now, so I can afford to drop a castle. We have got double pitaks coming in. And we've still got almost 100 food in berries left on those bushes. We haven't got loom yet. We'll get loom as soon as we hit castle age. We should get horse collar as well before we hit castle age. Once there's enough stone in the bank, we can transfer these off stone and go to wood. Obviously you don't need to go to stone and do a castle drop, you can go and go to wood or go to gold. We had enough once we hit feudal to build a, a lumber camp or a mining camp. So we could have gone and built another lumber camp somewhere. The horse collar's just completed. Queued up loom, sending these villagers forward to build a castle. Got 540. We've got a market, we need to buy it. There, 1347 was it? To Castle Age. Just with a standard generic sieve. Got plenty of stone in to drop a castle. So any sieve can do this build. We've got a villager queued up. Okay, we haven't got any farms yet. We haven't got any wood farms. So we are going to have a bit of TC idle time in a second. We're literally one food short of creating another villager. My priority is getting this down. I spent 100 wood on this mining camp, which I didn't need to do. I could use that for farms to start with. But yeah, that's essentially the build order. Um, you do obviously need to get farms down a bit quicker. You don't necessarily need to drop a castle immediately. You can go to TCs or stables or whatever. But there you go. 1346. I think that's one second of idle time, maybe. Waiting to click castle. Well, yeah, hope you enjoyed it.